Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you can remove a printer on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So if you try going through the control panel and the new settings menu on Windows 10 and you're still having the issue, this tutorial should hopefully be able to resolve it. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the star menu. I'm going to type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, if you give it a second to load, it should say regedit. You want to right click on this. And then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. So now you want to expand the H key local machine section, so either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand. Now you want to do the same thing for system, so expand that one as well. Make the sidebar a little wider here. Now we're going to do the same for current control set, and then you're going to do that same for control. And then you're going to scroll down until you get to print, expand that one, and then printers. And now there should be printers listed in here. Whichever printer you want to remove, you just want to right click on it and then left click delete. Before you do that, if you want to just be cautious, you might want to make a backup of your registry. Very easy to do. Just go up to the file tab at the top, left click on export. Once you've left clicked on file, of course, save this as whatever you want. I'm going to save it to my desktop and just click on save to save the backup. And then once you've done that, now you actually have a backup saved if you ever wanted to go back and redo something if you made a mistake. And in order to import it, it's very simple. Just go up to File, Import. This will import the backup. If you made a mistake, it should restore it back to that backup. So let's say we want to remove the Microsoft XPS Document Writer. Just right click on it. Left click Delete. Make sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys. Left click on Yes. Make sure remove it. And now you can go back to the conventional ways that you maybe would go about it otherwise. Going through the Control Panel we're going through print management as well. We're actually going through device manager. So another way would be if you close out of here and you open up device manager. The purpose of this video is just showing you guys alternative ways to the ways that most of us are aware of uninstalling printers. So if you just were to type in uninstall printer or printer into the start menu, we're going to show a couple different ways here. It's basically what I'm trying to achieve in this tutorial. So then you go underneath print queries, you can expand that. So if there's any printers listed in here, just right click on it and then you can left click on uninstall device as well. So it's just another way of how to do it. And I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.